A couple of months ago, Muipu made a video where she described flat earth as fundamentalists who believe that the earth is flat. And she argued against it using relativity. Uh, unfortunately, the um, arguments were flawed and I made a video response uh, on that. I don't want to be the guy who defends flat earthers, so here I intend to show that the earth is round and I'm going to use uh, a way that uh, should be available, available to most people, hopefully. It's not uh, my object to prove that the earth is round because uh, the pictures I show uh, can be doctored. Uh, but it should uh, be possible for anyone to go out and use the same methods and get the same results. So here it goes. First off, if the earth is flat, then any object uh, should be visible no matter how far away. It could of course be obstructions or uh, hazy skies or things like that. Uh, but um, if you are able to see that far, you should see the objects uh, anyway. Um, if that's not the case, if the earth is round or at least curved, and round is the most, most parsimonious way to be uh, curved, then things won't necessarily be um, uh, available for your view. Uh, even if there's uh, just um, water in between. So um, you could not be able to see uh, the object at all or you could uh, just see the top of it uh, like this uh, very exaggerated picture I show here. Um, so uh, the example I will use um, comes from Norway. I'm from Norway. Uh, around Farsta where I um, grew up and um, the object I will be looking at is the windmills at Smøla which is an um, uh, island about uh, 60 kilometers away from here and um, I've been there and uh, seen these windmills and the island, um, the windmills are 70 meters high, the blades are 40 um, meters in radius, and the island is pretty flat. Um, the most elevated um, windmills are at uh, 40 meters above sea level. Um, now, if I visit uh, the nearby mountain of Stemsasten, shown here, um, I can see the windmills uh, in this picture and as you can see uh, the horizon is um, found right at the top of the windmills which is fairly strange. As I mentioned um, these uh, towers are 70 meters high and with 40 meters of elevation I 110 meters. I should be at 110 meters in order to see the horizon there. But I'm at a mountain which is 667 meters high. So um, I should be able to see the horizon behind the windmills, above the windmills um, in the picture. Uh, as uh, shown in this diagram. Well, that's strange. Um, you could theorize that uh, it's not the real horizon or blah blah blah, but um, let's go to sea level and uh, search for the windmills there. Now, I didn't manage to see any windmills uh, looking from the sea level which is strange um, according to the flat earthers but not so strange if the earth is round so let's go about 50 meters up to the base of the mountain and look there 
Now the weather wasn't ideal so I had to use uh, GIMP's adaptive contrast to uh, be able to make these pictures but other than that they haven't been uh, doctored. And um, the result is this. You see the top of the windmills. Uh, so maybe 40 meters because um, you can compare the uh, tower to the um, to the size of the rotors and the rotors are 30 meters uh, long so I'm looking at the top half of the windmills above the horizon and uh, there's 30 meters more of uh, at the base and then there's uh, 40 meters of ground below that again that's not visible because the horizon covers that uh, area and that's not what you would expect at all if the earth was flat but of course it's exactly what you expect if the earth is round and that's it really. Uh, all that's needed is uh, a pair of legs, um, maybe a car, um, a camera or binoculars or really good eyesight and a stretch of uh, water, uh, ocean in this uh, case, uh, with something to look at um, on the far side and uh, some hills or mountains uh, on uh, the side you are on. So there, the earth is round. Um, it's very satisfying to be able to do this kind of thing. Uh, find out for yourself instead of just uh, relying on textbooks and uh, really see it, see the roundness of the earth or the curvature of the earth uh, by applying uh, your own uh, rationale uh, so okay that's it for now hope it was interesting